alleviate the national bus driver shortage here at a local level. JCPS held a bus driver hiring blitz today with a little under 600 bus drivers to cover 550 routes. JCPS says it's not enough. The five hour event today was held at the Hilton Garden Inn on Crittenden Drive in hopes to give potential applicants a one stop shop to join the team. This is our bus driver blitz. More than 200 people all looking to be a JCPS bus driver. Now I've been driving for 10 years. Ronald uh, Fabush, a seasoned bus driver, has seen a drastic change in the number of available drivers over his years. When I first came in, we had a little bit more drivers, but now, you know, for some reason or another, uh, it's not that many. But we need more drivers, and the, the more drivers we have, a lot is easier for everybody. JCPS has 575 bus drivers that transport 65,000 students. The district has enough drivers to cover every route, but that's quick to change with daily callouts. If we don't have a bus driver, we have to double up, not only that, but to make the uh, students late getting to school. And, you know, that could be a little stressful sometimes, especially if a parent is working and they're trying to wait till the child gets to school. So the more drivers that we have, the lot easier. The JCPS bus driver hiring blitz hopes to fill those vacancies. JCPS spokesperson Carolyn Callahan says the blitz gave people a chance to turn in an application, get DOT physicals done, and talk in person with other drivers. She says before the doors even opened, there were people lined up outside ready to apply. The number one thing we're hearing from them is we want to help the kids. We've seen what's going on and we want to help get kids safely to and from school. So it gives us hope that we're going to be able to hire a good number of bus drivers from this event. We and coming up this week, JCPS officials will meet to discuss what changes they can make to the current transportation system, making it clear that the current system doesn't work. JCPS Chief of Communications Carolyn Callahan says 40 or more bus drivers call out a day or don't show up to drive. This means that most days they have more routes than bus drivers. This Tuesday, the JCPS board will consider transportation proposals that include transporting students to reside schools only, having parents drop students off at a centralized hub or no change at all. Either means we need to find a lot more bus drivers or we need to cut back, cut back on the number of routes and the number of students that we're transporting. You know, you got people tend to get off to work. I can see it being a disaster too. Just imagine the traffic of people trying to drop their kids off at a hub on time. JCPS school board members will hear the details about the transportation proposals at the meeting this Tuesday, February 13th at the Van Hoos Education Center.